Hey, Pacers, you let one go. You should have had that game. And Celtics, hey, Tatum, all y'all, hey, y'all pull that thing out because your crowd, everybody was, well, I was like, look, everybody was ready to come at you. I was like, your crowd was ready to be like, not this again. I'm just saying that it, it was almost there. But y'all was able to pull that one out. But y'all, y'all was up there tight. I know they was tight. Yeah, y'all might have faith, cause that's what everybody that's what everybody says on the team or whatever. We have faith, my God, we knew we gonna pull it out, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. But let me just say them headlines were about to be what's what Celtics we got, what who's showing up. Oh, like Tatum had a had a really good game, but you know, whatever. It was about to be something. But hey, to be honest, it was it was a great game. But it's also something in the playoffs that I don't think we really had is that I don't actually think that there was any blame or necessarily or somebody had a bad game or didn't show up to play. Like you you pretty much got it all here. I was like Halliburton, I was like it, except for like a few turnovers, he played a really good damn game. Uh, Siakam had like a really slow start, but he came on in the second half and most in a lot in that fourth quarter. Nimar came came alive in that fourth quarter, attacking Horford. I was like, uh, Horford was keeping them. I was like, was the one that sort of was get was getting them going at the very beginning of the game. Uh, Tatum was good throughout the whole game. Uh, Brown, I was like, uh, I was like, uh, hit that clutch three, and you know he would pair with him and stuff like that. Holiday over here just was, became more of a scoring guy than anything. Where White was the one that was doing a lot of distributing, but also Holiday was locking down on like Hallenburn as well too. Like uh, the Celtic defense was uh, even like like. Like the thing is, their defense was really good. It's just that the Pacers, the way they play, is always going to have you, you know, looking like you like you're not. Almost like you know, like yes, we roasted Gobert versus Jokic, but it's also one thing that was like Jokic was on one. So yeah, he playing good defense, but Jokic is that is that hot. That's sort of how it is. Where like the Celtics defense. Was was pretty good, but the pace of the game and the Pacers wasn't missing any shots. That is just kind of like, well, damn, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. Um, I like the bench. I think also uh, came up big with Toppin and McConnell uh, for the Pacers when there was uh, a few, you know, a few laps and stuff like that. I was like, I. Uh, I was like, I think that the they wasn't. I was like, it felt like they were trying to. The Patriots were trying to figure out their big man, like especially like once Turner went off, it was like they were trying to figure out what big man they could use that was really helpful. Because I was like, cause the the Celtics uh, dudes would just grab boards on them and stuff like that. That's sort of where the 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 height little difference is is a, is a problem for the Pacers. Um, I like the Celtics show that they could play with the pace, but I also give credit to the Pacers for, like, and like maybe, and this is probably what they got from like the last couple series is all that toughness and stuff like that. Like they wasn't getting punked around by the Celtics. Even like the Celtics try to all like you know, you know, muscle them and stuff like that. And then like we ain't gonna back down. We we right here. We ready as well too. Um, I was like. I was like, you know, I was like, not saying it was like crazy physical or nothing like that, but it was just a tough, grinded out game. I was like, shots weren't really easy to come by. Um, you like you like especially this one because you still feeling them out. So it was like you trying to see what matchup is going on. Cause I was like, that's when they started doing stuff to Horford. Um, I was like, Obi Toppin. He trying his best. I, I was talking about on the defensive side with Brown and Tatum, and I guess they may be doing it because of maybe he's the most athletic. You know, when uh, Nate Smith is not out there, but he he can't. He can't. Like Nate Smith can put up a fight. You know, it, like he's not stopping him. He just really just making you work. But Obi Toppin, that's not 
that's not there for him. But he is scoring on the other side, so he's all he's giving you something in that regard. Um, yeah, I was like, I, I was like, except for Howland Burke, because he had like at least about three or four turnovers in that ending sequence and the overtime. Um, the execution of, of the last second play, I was like, I I don't know what's supposed to really happen there because it's like, it's just like Hallenberg got the ball and he just went right into the defense with White and Tatum and basically couldn't get a shot. Um, but I was like, if I feel like if you're the pay, I feel like if you're both teams, you can find something to be encouraged about. Uh, I think it, it probably feels more encouraging if you're the Pacers, be just because you should have won this game, and you was right there. And it's like every time the Celtics did get up to a big lead, like in the first quarter where they were like up like like twelve to zero, uh, and like there was like points in time where it was like they was up ten to twelve. You know you could score to get back into the game. Um, the Celtics are 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 going to do that, and the pace that you play is going to allow you to do that as well too. Um, don't get me wrong, I was like, while the Celtics does have some of this, their defense is a lot more consistent than the Pacers to where if the Pacers shot isn't falling, do you have enough defense in order to, or you're just going to have to hope that the Celtics' offense is falling. Uh, but we'll see how that goes for that game. But for this one, it's encouraging. It's, it's like bittersweet because you know you should have got it, but you lost it. So it's like we know we could play with these guys, but if we would have got this one, first one at home, we get to dictate the series. Whereas like the Celtics, they got out with one, and it's like yeah, they could really they could have a sigh of relief, but they did what they were supposed to do. They they got the one. They they grinded out a game. So that's also credit and also a morale thing to them. Where it's like yeah, we shouldn't have had it where they where we was even in that position with them. But when it came time to it, we, we were able to grind it out, lock it down, hit timely shots, still execute our offense. Uh, because it, I was like, because I thought, uh, even though I was like, Tatum had a, like a hell of a game, he was, he, I was like, he was there on points. I was like, he was over here snatching rebounds and whatnot. And Jalen Brown was here and there. I was like, he, I was like, uh, you know, like he wasn't, uh, it wasn't a constant thing, like how Tatum sort of was. But, he wasn't. He 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 didn't go. With, I was like he didn't disappear or nothing like that. But you could see that they didn't let them necessarily iso ball a lot. Like like they got they did get into a little bit of that where the Pacers did get sort of their run going. But you sort of see that it was like Drew and White a lot that was executing a lot of the stuff. To, to sort of take the ball out their hands so it wasn't just kind of like once the ball gets in their hands, it go, it's stuck and they just go ISO. Uh, but I do wonder, because I do think that even though the pace with the Pacers, you know, got is so able to give them the mismatches or, or and stuff like that and transition, it also helped the Celtics. Because I was like, that's why I believe that Holiday was able to go off the way he was and stuff. Um, I was like, they were able to also find mismatches, uh, even though kind of like they are switching team, the Pacers kind of like, like I said, they're like similar to the Celtics. They all got people around like the same height. It's that the Celtics are bigger. Um, you, I was like, you know, kind of was like, like they're bigger at at some of those same spots. Um, but no, I was like, they, I was like, and I was like, there and I was like the Celtic bench gave them something. It like it wasn't the same thing as you know the Pacers bench, but you but they but they wasn't out there just you know bodies. And I think that's going to be, and that I think that's going to be important that you that they're just not that they're doing something they're giving something. Um, yeah, I I was like I really to be honest, it was, it was like if we get this the whole series that'd be great because like I said. There really wasn't nothing or nobody that you can say played bad or played not up to the, necessarily the standard that you needed in the play. Like, like of course, everybody will want more 
points because then that means you would have won. But I was like, I think everybody came to play where they needed to. It wasn't, you know, wasn't nothing like no nobody was shortchanged. Um, now I'm sounding like Charles Barkley, where I feel like I'm repeating myself on things. Uh, yeah, no, it was it was a really it was a really good game. Uh, I was like the pace is there. Uh, now I will say that especially with Horford, can you do the cutoff? Like I do think he came out hot, and then I think he waned in the in towards the end, which I mean, it's like seventy years old. So I mean, it's it's it's, it's to be. It's to be sort of like understandable. So, you know, but I was like, the thing is, like, even though Drew's old, he's not going to be, he's going to still be there. He's still, gonna, I was like, and everybody else is young. So, if that one thing is where they sort of, because I was like, Miles Turner did have like a pretty, like a pretty big game also for, uh, for a while hitting shots. I was like, I think they need to find a way to, uh, you, I was like, use him, uh, like, use him a lot more in different ways, especially. You know, Siakam going. I was like, because you need to sort of open up a lot of space for Siakam. Uh, I thought that he was he had a difficult time early on just because he just was getting body. Because like I think that Horford's too big, but he's not, and Pascal's not fast enough to really take Pascal. I mean, take Horford off the dribble. And Horford is at. The, I was like, he's always been this way, but also like he's just smart to where he just like time stuff like because he was blocking or being up on pascal a lot in a lot of his shots uh so i think they need to figure out a way to get him more open and stuff like that and pascal got to also do a little bit better job of taking shots winning there instead of doing so much dribbling and next thing you know the defense is there or they're right up on him um i like yeah and i was like i think that's also with the paces too that they just need to Take the shot that's available to them, uh, especially with the starting starting unit. Kind of like T.D. McConnell does so much running around with the ball that is kind of like, kind of like a quarterback that like to scramble. You just sort of have to get in where you fit in. But uh, I was like, where's how? I was like, where's Howard Martin? Really, just somebody that's just like he gets the ball moving and stuff like that. Um, like and like Shepard, like taking shots that are there. Uh, Cause there was a couple times that he passed up the ball that I'm just like. Go ahead, shoot it. Uh, I like Derek White as well too. But from the other end, I was like, there was a couple shots that I was like, where I'm just like, cause I like, like as Drew was being aggressive, I get why White wasn't necessary. Like not that he wasn't aggressive, but it's like he was hesitant at times of shooting. I was like, but he would go to the basket, so I do appreciate that. But Drew was a lot more aggressive of like, okay, cool, I'm gonna shoot this ball. Because the way we're playing, we're gonna to have to take these shots just as much as they're gonna take these shots, and kind of we're not gonna take the shots. And they're doing they're because the thing is, the Pacers are taking three times more shots as you. They have a better chance of them going in, so you gotta at least try to keep up with them. And I, I was like, because to me, a lot of the players are high and all that other stuff similar, not like necessarily talent. Is that? I was like, you can get the same mismatches that they can too. Cause I was like, Nimhar can't do nothing versus Tatum. He just there. Look, he couldn't do nothing against Brunson. You think he's gonna get do something against Tatum? Uh, like I said, the only person that's gonna stop Tatum is Tatum. And this game, I felt like Tatum was like, I gotta let everybody know. We ain't trying to go out like that. So, but if we get the game like this, hey, I said six, cause I do think the Pacers can get themselves to there. We've seen how close it was today. Um, I went ahead and picked the, picked the Celtics, and I really just think that I'm like I think their top end talent beats the Pacers' top end talent, even though they got the better overall like depth of the team. And also too that I'm like I just like how with Minnesota, I just feel like the defense wins, and I think that the Celtics can get on defense. Even if the offenses are going, whereas the Pacers, we have to see if they can just do defensive consistently, especially if their offenses are falling. And everything clicked today for both te for both teams, where the defense was there and the offense. So we'll see who 
And then, like I said, those Halliburton turnover. That was the margin. I, I mean, the margin, like it's butter. The margin of error that pretty much cost the game today in a close game that was like this when everybody was nip and tuck with each other. But anyway, we'll see how the next one goes. Until then, out.